Oh, I'm not done. <laughs> Believe it or not, what he's about to show you, we found it the very first stop of the day. What is up? This is part four of our fucking thrift quest that we do. Thrift quest. Thrift quest. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. Thrift quest. <laughs> um, and I'll come thrift with us, me and Frankie. Frankie's details down the bottom sub to Frankie. Uh, we're on the garage sale trail today. We've actually already been to our first garage sale and I have found a couple. Two grails, two grails, two, two quest grails. Uh, but we'll show you all the stuff at the end. We're not going to film inside the garage sales because it's rude to film inside people's uh, houses, I think, anyway, personally. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll maybe do some uh, documentation along the way um, if we find some good stuff while I give him shit. But the scores at the moment, so the first one was uh, a draw, I think it was. Then you had a win. Then mm -hmm. I had a win it's because... Yeah, I had a win because uh, Castle Grayscale just won it. That was a, that was a grail. Found a grail. Last one, and I think I've already first garage sale. I think I've already won it, but uh, we'll we'll find out. We'll find out. But I, I think I've already won it. There's a good chance. There's a good chance just from the first garage sale that I've won this. So stick with us, uh, and uh, we'll show you everything that we get right at the very end because we're gonna get some good shit. Because we've already found you found some good stuff too already, actually. As oh, well. I found some solid so, stuff. It's just not rails. Yeah, it's the stuff that I left behind that I didn't want that mm. I just let you have because I thought you know let you have a constellation prize. To let you catch up, but um, yeah, it's, it's t the scores are tied at the moment anyway. So let me get that uh, end of this one. Hopefully, I'm one ahead of you. <laughs> but use decide, use decide. Would you take a look at this guy? All right, he's fucking. He's he got out the car. He's waiting. He's gonna fucking run. He's gonna run to the door. Catch up now. I've got to do it. He has no idea. He already had his head start at the first one. I didn't, have a head rail. I didn't have a head start. Yeah, you did. Fuck off, head start. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for my fucking three minute, five minute head start, mate. <laughs> Look at him. I'll still fucking beat him on this one, too. <laughs> All right, so we've been to three. The first one was good, second one was fucking shit. Yeah, I did that. You got a fucking, waffle, waffle cup. You got a mug. Yeah. Fucking, and the third one was just, we just cleaned up. We just fucking cleaned up. So we're at the shops because he's run out of money. Um, we just spend it all. I'm going to give him a little fucking hint before they see what we get. You've got a fucking fair few concert t shirts. Um, which $5 are each. Pretty fucking sick. Pretty fucking sick. Um, we've got heaps of fucking video games. We've got heaps of uh, cool stuff. So keep watching because you're going to see at the end all this fucking good shit we got. We got some fucking beautiful stuff. We just spent a shitload at that. Uh, well, it wasn't even that much really, was it? In the end when you think what we got. Mm. It's been about 180, I reckon. Yeah. One, 170. I gave her about fucking 80 bucks, I think I spent. And I got a fucking bucket load. Yep. But uh, in the end, I think in profits, we'd be both on about 500 bucks we're, or more. We're over 500 for sure. Easily, Already. easily. And we have, oh, I haven't even spent 100 bucks. So, uh, all right, we're going to go get money out. He's going to get another coffee. I'm going to get a Red Bull. I'm probably going to get a fucking pie. And uh, <laughs> we'll, um, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll just continue this journey and then we're showing you everything at the end. This is. It's going to be a good fucking show and tell, actually. We're going to have to fucking oh, park man. somewhere. It already get, is. We're going to have to park somewhere and get we, it all We out. could call it a day right now. And yeah. It hasn't even been two hours. I'm not calling it a day. I said we could. Oh, I yeah. say we're going to. Yeah, I'll drop you off and I'll go to the next <laughs> one. But I'll take your map. All right, let's go. I'll take Dude, your map. Let's I'll go. Take let's go. Map. I'll take your map. All right, we're going to fucking put everything out and show you everything that we got. But if uh, you hear some weird noises, Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. We finished our garage sale trial. We did about six hours. I think we killed it. Absolutely killed it. Absolutely killed it. Hopefully you can hear us properly because of the wind and hopefully you can see us properly because we found somewhere to park. Um, we'll go through our items and we'll just go through. One by one? Yeah, bit by bit and um, yeah, so stick with us because uh, the end pieces are the best pieces. So we'll start with the, this is just a box of, just a box of uh, used tapes, $5. This will come in handy for me later on. I'm gonna start with just some bread and butter. Just books, didn't really find too many today, but. No, not many books, eh? These two PlayStation 4 games, don't know, couldn't comp, you can't comp when you're really at a garage sale, so got these for five bucks each. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins for five bucks, and uh, I think I want to play that anyway, so maybe a $20 game, $30 game, don't know, but uh, it's uh, Metal Gear Solid. They were five bucks each. Just a Nintendo case, I got that for a buck. And, uh, little My Little Pony for the little girl. Got a bunch of DVDs, uh, stack of DVDs. These were like uh, 50 cents each. Um, yeah, 50 cents each. I've got stuff that's in here that's sealed and all that. I know I'm gonna get basically 10 bucks for a lot of all these ones. Some TV series that have been sealed and all that as well. Friday the 13th, 10. But um, yeah, bunch here. Oh, and then there was uh, all these uh, Power Rangers ones that I'll lot up as well. So these Power Rangers ones I could probably lot up and get about 30 bucks for. But hey, what did it cost me? $2.50, so laughing. Yeah, I only got five DVDs for the entire day. Um, I had a dollar, so can't argue with that. Mm. A couple of books, old Dinotopia ones. It's pretty happy to find those for a buck each. More DVDs, I forgot. I forgot I had more DVDs. Kingdom Hospital, that was a fucking buck. Fucking Hell's Kitchen, season one to 10. <laughs> ah, that was two bucks. That was 50 cents, some sealed gardening one, but some prick will want that. Fucking Vampire Diaries, that was fucking 50 cents for the three series of that. I think I paid five bucks for all these uh, Breaking Bads, but that's the whole collection of Breaking Bads, but I've sold the whole lot before for 50 bucks. And I got Shameless for five dollars, and that's the whole 25 disc set. I don't know what Shameless goes for. Oh, this is the English version, not the American version. Don't know what that goes for, but surely I'll get from $5 to up to about fucking 40 bucks for that. This is a, a pair of tape recorder. $10 down to five. We've done a lot of negotiating. Oh, heaps of negotiating. Of heaps of negotiating. Yeah. Hopefully you can hear us with the wind. So many one that didn't really work. I didn't even buy this. The old bloke just said, you can you can have this. You can have this. Some The last green race. Fucking cassette tapes of some shit. So, uh... He gave me this, good on him, but I did get a whole heap of cassette tapes for a dollar. Uh, BB King and Paul Simon, they'll go all right. Chicago, fuck them, don't know that. Paul McCartney, that would go pretty good. Breakfast Club. But the best part was the Bangles <laughs> and NXS Kiss, uh, Kick. I'll get 30 bucks for that. And I paid a dollar for all those cassettes, so I haven't looked up the comps on all these cassettes, but. Uh, yeah, should be about 50, 60 bucks in this cassette. What'd you pay for that? A dollar. So, I can lot them up anyway in the end if they're not worth anything. So we, we got so much stuff that I've already forgotten that I got a bunch of books. Oh yeah, they were 50 cents each These too. are all 50 cents each and they're all old, either war related or maritime navy. And uh, yeah, they, <laughs> 50 cents you can't really argue. I got for five bucks, I couldn't fucking uh, not get it. Look at these Spice Girls, 1995 Spice Girls uh, toys. Five bucks for the lot, there's 40, Ginger and uh, Posh. All these little spies don't know what they're worth, but uh, Spice Girls, man. Spice Girls, why not? Why not? How good are they? A uh, bunch of Pokemon books. Yeah, did some more bartering for that. Paid, paid 20 for six. So bread and butter type stuff. Tom and Jerry Annual 1975 with a new Tom and Jerry uh, movie coming out. This should go all right. A um, couple of Hagar, those Hagar comics. And then um, 
This should go good. I've got 15 foot rod flat, foot rod flats uh, books. 15 of them. Um, I'll be able to lock them up and probably get about 60 bucks or maybe even more. Um, and I paid $20 with the Tom and Jerry and the Hagar. I think there was a couple of other ones fucking laying around somewhere. And a couple of wrestling figures. Managed to snatch those before Rob could even see them. Fucking brick. Uh, effectively free. Yeah. A Demon's Waffle Cup as well. Sort of a, a find from a pretty rubbish sort of one that we went to, but it's alright. Got a whole heap of PlayStation 2 games. Simpsons Road Rage, Crash, Tony Hawk, another Crash, another Crash, fucking Star Wars, Final Fantasy, and another Crash. If those Crash ones aren't worth anything, I can fucking kind of lock them up basically. But they were all $2 each, but couldn't look them up there. So it was six, I think she did 15, she did $15 for all them, so. I'll definitely be making me money just with the Tony Hawk's one. Uh, generic Ken Duncan, we saw this one before. Oh, short circuit energy game. I couldn't find any comps for it, but there's one listed for 60 bucks, so can't argue with that. I got uh, this one and a Lego bucket of Duplo for 20 bucks. That's the Lego bucket. Um, I've got a whole heap of Blu-rays from that lady for two bucks each. Okay. This one will go alright. Oh, don't blow over. Psycho Collection, all four movies on Blu-ray. Got that for two dollars. That'll go for fucking forty bucks. Easy. Rolling Stones, I know that concert will go for about thirty bucks because I've sold Rolling Stones on just normal DVD. For fucking that shit. That crap. A few others. Oh, didn't even realise Foo Fighters was in there. Sealed at <laughs> Wembley Stadium. Queen always sells bloody good, but there was a good little fucking, oh, all the fucking Superman movies on uh, Blu-ray. But uh, the Eagles Farewell yeah. Tour number one, yeah. that will go for 40 bucks, is up 40 to 50 dollars, because I've sold that on DVD for 50 bucks before, so Blu-ray should go for about uh, 40, 50 bucks. Um, shit, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, oh, plus uh, I paid for your fucking, uh, <laughs> your fucking little two dollar thing, I paid 20 bucks for that, but uh, there's fucking over 100 bucks right there. Easy. 150. Yeah. Easy. Uh, a couple of cassettes. Now it's sort of starting to get into some of the better items. Some of the good stuff. Let's some just, of the uh, good stuff. Some of the so I'm going to start with this. So we got this from a, a lady nice. who was... I don't know. She was... Cool. Talk, talking a lot. Yeah. Cooked is probably the word for it. Cooked. Uh, a Lego 616. It's a little boat. Made in Denmark from 1976, still sealed. That was very cool. Yeah, that's a bloody goodie. Locking. Is there anything in this? Locking key. Grand Theft Auto 5. No, 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 box. I've got no idea what it's worth. We didn't even look it up, did we? Nope. We haven't looked up much. We haven't looked up anything. So, yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4 with a key and box that was five bucks how could you say no to five bucks for that atari console less than five bucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah pretty cool no cords but sell for parts can't test it got these two ashtrays dollar each the reason i got them is uh sometimes ashtrays actually do sell pretty good on uh ebay so look up some different uh ashtrays and uh I didn't look these ones up, but these ones look like, um, I'm thinking they're sailing ship ones or they're either... Oh no, Cognac. Oh, oh Cognac. Oh, look out. And, 19, and 1863. We'll see what they're worth, but they're a dollar each, so it was worth getting these ashtrays. Uh, Rob hated me finding this. Oh, you're a fucking piece of shit. Same you're place fucking... as the other one. 1984 DC Comics Superman 3. Aladdin Vermis. Starting to fade out a little bit, but still pretty cool. I think that was a dollar. <laughs> yeah, fucking prick. Yeah. Fucking real piece of work. Uh, got some ACDC uh, shot glasses. That was a buck. That was a buck. Don't know. They're probably worth ten bucks, maybe fifteen bucks. But shot glasses, if they're not worth anything, we'll keep. I'll keep them. ACDC money talks wallet. 
and some coasters. Hell yeah. She threw those in. Yep. She threw Very those sorry. in. Uh, Walkman. It's a no-name brand, but uh, it was two bucks. So it's got the charger. Maybe 30 bucks. Don't know. We'll find out when we comp it. Got an ACDC stubby holder and a bunch of like old pins as well. These are from like 2008. They're pretty cool. Well, might be maybe 10 bucks each for those. I'm not really sure. We'll see how we go. Uh, some Logitech fucking remote control thing. I paid five bucks for that. So I got everything in the box. Definitely worth it because uh, the screen comes on and shit like that. So. Give it a go, it might go for 30 bucks, it might go for 40, who knows? Uh, this is a Colab uh, Garfield and McDonald's 1980, so it says. Yeah, pretty cool. Another dollar. She gave me some tarot cards for free. She'll get about 30, 40 bucks for those. <laughs> so I love it when you get something for free and you get 30, 40 bucks. Now we're getting on to some of the real Good stuff. Uh, what should we start with? Well, oh shit. I'll show you. I've got a whole heap of videos for 50 cents each. A whole heap of videos for 50 cents each. Um, ones that were good that do sell all the time is Jaws. Uh, Jaws. Uh, but uh, what I like the best out of all these, and I didn't show you this one yet. <laughs> well, I showed you this one. This is the original release of Return of the Jedi. I should get. About 40 bucks to 50 bucks for that. That's the original uh, Return of the Jedi. But these converters, where you put your uh, oh, video cool. camera um, tape in there, you can get about 40, 50 bucks for these. So I got that for 50 cents. Wow. So. That's cool. Yeah, didn't tell you about that one while I was getting that. Mm. <laughs> but they're good. Look out for those converters because people want them all the time. Uh, I've got a, a Carhartt and John Deere collab there. Nice little medium sort of brown jacket. Paid five bucks for that. You. Yeah. So it's a good little score. Five dollars. Ronan Tasmanian Devil. With tags, but probably just going to hang it up at home for Christmas. Hey, I paid for that. Oh yeah, Rob did pay for that. <laughs> That's my fine. That counts as my fine. ACDC Fire Runner. I've got a vintage Docker scarf for a couple of bucks. I've sold a couple of these before already for uh, 40. One was 50, but there's a few threads coming out of some of the uh, logos, so probably gonna get about 30 bucks for this one, but uh, from a couple of bucks, sweet. This is just a new Santa Cruz uh, long sleeve t-shirt. We'll just like the pattern on it. I've got these wildlife collector series uh with tags got these two plus this fucking lizard good old aussie lizard five bucks for these don't know what they're worth but uh can always give them to my mate's kids so and they're all in new condition so that's a pretty good score there with the teddies i reckon probably get about 20 bucks maybe 30 or more uh, we actually stopped at the salvos at the very end and it's the Expensive one that I really don't like going to. But I managed to find this with half price tags. Pair of two Saints, like a local team. Uh, out sticks. This, believe it or not, will sell for maybe 40 or 50 bucks. Mm. Nice little jumper. I've got a Pavlich bobblehead. And that should go for about 50 bucks. That's cool. That's wicked. I don't know if I want to fucking sell it because it's Pav. Uh, it's Pav from the Dockers. And I've got a Fifey still in the box. New. Um, she did me these two plus the scarf for and 20 bucks. Oh, and she got, I don't even know where the fuck they are. We'll find them. We'll find them. <laughs> oh, no. We're just checking that nothing's going to fly on the table here. It's getting ready. Alright, getting into the, the nice, nicer stuff. So we've got a Game Boy Pockets. Uh, we got Coke. Uh, a couple of games inside, Dr. Mario and Tetris. Hopefully it's all right, around 20 each. So I paid, I paid 120 for all the game stuff that I'm going to show you. Yeah. So we've got a 
Game Boy Color. Um, these are in cases, but some of the labels have been ripped off. Uh, Mickey's Riding. Oh, Mickey's Racing. Prince of Persia. Pokemon Gold. Hopefully that's a legit copy. Everything else seems to be, so... I'm hoping so. And the last one we got, Game Boy Advance SP. This one does have all the cords as well. And we've got a bunch of instruction booklets. So as you can see, Pokemon, Fire Red, Pinocchio, Prince of Persia, Rugrats Go Wild, Lilo and Stitch, Scooby Doo, and there is another Pokemon, uh, Ruby as well. So all those games, Wireless Adapter for the Advance, can't say I've actually seen that before. Finding Nemo. Maybe a Mario Pinball Land fighting in there somewhere too. Yeah, so pretty happy with all that. Sell a few games and that'll easily cover the cost of that a uh, little lot. Uh, a few books for a fucking two dollars. Don't know if they're worth anything, book of dead, shit like that, so I'll find out. Uh, this thing that I did love, I got for uh, $5 or $10? $10. So I got the Viewmaster. I got the Viewmaster. Oh, it's gonna be fucking, not gonna probably even be able to hear it. Viewmaster. Oh, then we got sealed Viewmaster. Damn. Viewmaster fucking reels. Damn. Uh, Casper in Ghostland, Pippi Longstocking. Pippi Longstocking. Casper in Ghostland. Peanuts. And then a whole heap of fucking Viewmaster in here. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Sesame Street. Snow White. Disney favorites. Dark and Sharks. Hunts back in Notre Dame. Absolutely heaps in there. Now I've sold Snow White. I've sold 20 Viewmasters of these for 50 bucks before. So now I've got sealed Viewmasters. I've got the Viewmaster. And now I've got all these as well. So that's just insane. This Viewmaster thing's got a fucking tag on it still. <laughs> and we got a vintage Swan Lager beer tray got that for a dollar that is pretty good i should get about 50 bucks for that locally i won't post that but um yeah it's a beer tray swan lager someone's gonna love that for their bar two dockers jerseys official dockers jerseys got them for uh, ten dollars each one's 3xl and one's uh xl should get 50 bucks each for those so ten dollars into 50 bucks is pretty good plus they'll pay their own postage um i've already got these so i don't need to keep them so um yeah i'll plug them off and they're from two different years. Two different uh, what side logos on there. But not bad. $10 for official Dockers jerseys. Some Holy Grails out because we've got some Holy Grails left. I've got a Tuscan Raider I'm going to keep. <laughs> so we went to one this morning that we waited around for probably 25 minutes. And yeah, it was annoying. It was annoying. But it turned out to be one was. of the best stops of the day. I think it was. Oh. Uh, actually, it probably was. For me, it was. That it was, was the It was the officially the second, but you yeah. could say it was, it was the third. third. Yeah. But it was the. It was the best stop of the day. The two best stops of the day were the first and the second. So I ended up getting a bunch of uh, t-shirts. Um, start off with Kiss One. I actually had two Kiss Ones, but I donated the other. No, one he didn't. I fucking saw the Kiss <laughs> One while he was going through it, and I said, "Fucking, I'm taking that Kiss One." And he had no choice but to give me that fucking kiss shirt. Most of these <laughs> are all tour t-shirts. Paid five bucks each. And you're lucky I let, I let, let you have them. He, he totally missed them. No, I didn't. I went straight to something else. Guns N' Roses. 
ACDC. Uh, this is an old sort of stock car racing one. I've sold a few of these before, usually around 30, 40 bucks. Uh, Adam Lambert Queen. Boo! Not M the real fucking Queen. M&M. &M. Another ACDC t-shirt. Twenty eight twenty eighteen and this one's my favourite of the whole lot and very old blue fighters as well. All on Gilvin tags. Yeah. Pretty, pretty stoked with that. That's blue fighters one. Really good Sick. money, you know. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty much me done. Is that you done? That's me done. Is that you done? That's me done. He's saying you're fucking done, because I've still got a bit. <laughs> I've still got a fucking bit. I still feel I've won this, like, right now people will be saying, oh, your Pokemon, your Game Boy, you're winning this in your tour t-shirts, but mm, no, no, no. No, no, no. So we got an ACDC backpack I paid uh, five bucks for. You could probably get about 30 bucks for that, maybe 40, I don't know. Pretty cool backpack though. Not bad. Not bad. I found this, um... Oh, I found this KISS, fuck off, fuck off, I found this fucking KISS 2013 Monster Tour t-shirt, uh, all the uh, places they were, I was there, Perth Arena, 2nd and 28th, yeah, probably pick up about 50, 60, 70 bucks for that, paid $5 for that, I found that first, <laughs> I fucking, I called it before you fucking saw it, I already picked it up. Bullshit. That's okay, he likes kids. Okay. Pair of Fifey socks, uh, still fucking uh, tags. I uh, got these for free. Um, I should get about 20 bucks for those, maybe even 30. Um, yeah, Fifey socks. Got this for a buck. Yeah, <laughs> it's all fucking camera. Oh, it's gonna fucking film in it. I think it does. <laughs> I think it's gonna film in it. I'm gonna open it up. Uh, so this old um, camera, who knows what that's worth, but someone will fucking buy it. Got that for a buck, not bad. It says ten dollars on it, but I got it for uh, five bucks. She gave it to me for five bucks. This Polaroid uh, six three six close up camera. Oh hell yeah! Did you get a camera, boy? I got two cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I better check. <laughs> oh yeah, she's in there, dusty as shit. Fucking that five bucks is gonna get her some crack tonight. Probably already. She's already been down. She gave me this for five bucks as well. This is kind of like yours, but uh, mine's better. Uh, how do you open it? Hold on. I'm fucking open it again. I opened it while I was there. Wait. It's a reel. Mm -hmm. Fucking nice old reel. Oh shit. No, he's broken it. No, I didn't fucking break it. Mine's better than his one. High fidelity. So, look at that. Fucking walking around with a reel. Oh, yeah. Oh, what did you get, fucking Frankie? You got fucking one in a book, but I got one fucking like this, so I can walk around with your reel, listen to that shit. Oh, I'm not done. I am not done, mate. I am not done. I got for $10. She wanted 20 $10. I got this Gap XL2 sound. Movie camera, 2.1 zoom, super 8, bang! How do you like that? Fucking this one, oh man, this is fucking, this is old school video camera. This is the old fucking real video camera. This is old school Frankie. Fucking hell Frankie, 10 bucks? I don't even know what I can get for this. We haven't even looked it up. You can look it up now, aren't you? 100 bucks, 100 bucks, Frankie. Untested, 100 bucks. Untested. We went to the yob shop, we went to the thrift store right at the end, found six dollars each these vinyls were, six dollars each, but Alice Cooper, Million Dollar Baby, it's got the flipper curse, someone's written their initials there. This one potentially goes for between sixty and a hundred dollars, this uh, Million Dollar Babies. And then we got good old uh, Alice Cooper trash for six bucks as well, and this goes for about forty to forty-five, something like that. That was six bucks as well, and that's a good pickup, so uh, we love our Alice Cooper as well, so we'll have a listen to that before we uh, sell it. Oh, I'm not done. <laughs> Believe it or not, what he's about to show you, we found in the very first 
stop of the day. So I got Axis and Allies. Axis and Allies for ten dollars. This one should flog off for about sixty to eighty, uh, depending on if it's all in there or not. But a lot of collectors want the original Axis and Allies, and this is the original Axis and Allies. Looks the outside there's a lot of pieces in there, uh, so that's going to be that's going to be really fun. But to find that at the first one is awesome. But we got one more thing left. <laughs> now it's always good when someone finds a holy grail that you've been looking for and they send it to you. I love that, I love that. And thank you uh, to Scotty who sent me uh, this item that I just found, but I just found the holy grail item and- uh, And I have found this before too. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I found Hero Quest. I found Hero Quest. Now the box, it was $10. The box isn't as in good shape as the one that Scotty has sent me. Okay. It's not as good shape as what Scott sent me. Um, so I'm still keeping Scotty's one because Scotty's one's better and I might take the extra pieces out of this um, if there's any pieces missing. But the cool thing about this one was um, I found a Holy Grail and I also got given a Holy Grail. So I got two copies of Hero Quest now and part of me is saying I'm not even probably gonna sell it. But I could probably get about 300 bucks for that. But I'm gonna muck around and take pieces out of this one and put them into the one that Scotty gave me and um, and make a nice yeah, make a make a good one for me and then I might get rid of parts or you know what my yeah cousins own it but it was ten dollars and it came with this better part of the uh, Grail Hero Quest expansion pack Return of the Witch Lord this will go for about a hundred bucks itself uh, maybe even more um, extra pieces and all that so I will play this first because um, we are going to play some uh, Hero Quest me and my uh, cousins. Uh, so we're going to play Hero Quest and test it all out and all that shit. And I'll decide what to do, but um, I'm definitely keeping uh, the one Scott gave me. And uh, this one, after I play the expansion pack, I'll probably fuck the expansion pack off. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah. In the comments, uh, who do you think won? <laughs> I, I feel like you were a little biased, because I've already found that before. Oh. Oh, 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 I can't fucking hold, I'll drop all the pieces, man. <laughs> I'll drop all the pieces. Oh, this, this was a, a bloody good day. Oh, oh, a bloody good day. And then all the other shit. Um, brilliant. We fucking, I spent about 200 bucks. Oh, yuck. What was that? Uh, I spent about 200 bucks. Uh, he spent about 250. Uh, all up, yeah. uh, all up. There's fucking. I've got over a grand's worth of stuff. I'm telling you now, and I'm pretty sure you do too. So, um, oh, yeah. that's it, guys. We've gone a bit long showing the show and tell, but uh, like, subscribe. I've got uh, Frankie's link uh, in the bottom. Does uh, that Lego thing's cool as well? I think I've won this round. I think I've got the uh, extra point now, just because I found a Holy Grail item. Like Castle Grayscale was a Holy Grail. Grail okay. item. I guess so. I think so. I, I do. I gotta say, I do like that. I do like that Superman three mug, but it is broken. <laughs> what do you What do you reckon this worth? I wouldn't sell it under fifty, but I reckon maybe eighty. Some sucker will get it. Some sucker will get it. All right, guys, like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. See you. You gonna swoop me? You gonna swoop me? Well, you're not gonna fucking swoop Frankie because he's got no fucking hair, he's a bald cunt. You gonna swoop me? Where you going? <laughs>